two super high roller bowl champions in Brian Rast and Justin Bonomo. 2022 US Poker Open champ, Sean Winter. High stakes crushers, Jason Kuhn, Nick Shulman, and Seth Davies. Has there ever been a final table with this much firepower? Look out folks, this one could get bloody. Welcome to Las Vegas for the 2022 Poker Masters. Jeff Platt said it best. We might have never seen a final table like this before. It is exciting to bring you continued coverage of the Poker Masters 25K No Limit Hold'em final table here on our YouTube stream. We're going to do a one hour free preview of the action before I kick it over to the true professionals in the booth on PokerGo.com. If you are new to PokerGo, please subscribe right now. Use promo code PokerMasters to save $20 on your annual subscription. And then you get to listen to Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks on the call for this epic final table. I don't have to introduce any of these players, but here's a look at some of the most famous faces in the entire game of poker. Short stack Nick Schulman looking to get some more points to put himself in the lead. He is the highest placed player right now on the leaderboard standing. And here is a look at the Event 9 final table chip counts presented by Hair Club. 54 entries, 8 players cashed, Victoria Lifshitz and Daniel Kolpois finishing in 7th and 8th respectively, and Nick Schulman, the short stack, coming into today's final table. Here's a look at the payouts. $432,000 up for grabs, 81K guaranteed for these remaining 6 players, but knowing these players and having seen their resumes, we all know that none of these guys are playing for that 80K min cash they are all looking for that top prize, and they are all looking to gather some points to put themselves within striking distance of that purple jacket. The 50K final table will stream on Monday, and then we will crown the 2022 Poker Masters champion. Nick Schulman has the best chance to win out of these guys. 2040, yeah. But actually, there's supposed to be one dead, right? No, he just he busted the small blind. I thought we didn't finish the level. It should be a dead button. Dead button. It should be a dead button. Oh, it's but a dead button. The blinds are still correct. I was big blind last time. Oh, okay, so it's all good. Right, okay. Yeah, but, but it's I, right, yeah. It's I thought it would be cold yeah, poison. Especially your button. Yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. Cold so our last hand was coincidentally with like 30 seconds off in the level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was yeah. actually the last yeah. hand. Yeah. Yeah. First hand new level. Yeah. I knew, I knew that was going to be the case, as I, I remember, I remember from last night. last night. Yeah. Let's Bring six of the sharpest, sharpest players uh, I guess, in the I universe guess. to a table, and there will obviously be some sort of discussion about, about blinds, button position, and a whole bunch of stuff like that. Everybody, of course, Which always one paying I'm attention, going in these ones? making sure they don't miss out on even the slightest of edges. Action on Shulman raises the 80k from the big blind. He needs it the most. He's our short stack. Only 10 big blinds coming into today's final table. By the way, shout out to everyone Sorry, tuning into the chat right now. William is wondering, only one hour? Yes. I'm only here for the one hour preview. Jeff and Brent will call the action until we have a winner today. Thanks everyone tuning in. Jack four is the nuts. That's what I'm seeing in the chat. Let's see if we can get some Jack four action today at this final table as Shulman rakes in the first pot, which 30% in increase of his stack on the first hand. Must feel nice when you're Jacks? that short. No. Fucking Jack eight offs, <laughs> Queen four diamonds, pocket threes. <laughs> with the event nine summary. Jack like I said, 25k buy-in. First place, four hundred and thirty thousand dollars. In honor of Robbie. Yeah. I don't know this one. Robbie Reed. You haven't you haven't been on like social media for thirty six hours. I haven't been on social media in about twenty four days. Good job, man. You're fucking living yeah, your best life. Him, right? He's seen it eight different angles. I, I saw it on some like uh, video, but not like Twitter. I can't go on Twitter. You can't. I you got, you got beef with Jack Dorsey. <laughs> I have no Twitter bet. Or no, like, Twitter social media with Jeremy. Oh, cool. It's been, like, 25 days. Jeremy just got a no vice bet with everybody on the planet. Yeah, he's just free rolling everyone. He is free rolling <laughs> me. I lost four. Th I owe him our bets for 30 days. <laughs> well, he said he does drink a little bit, Jeremy. Yeah. I've never seen him drink, but he said he had a no drinking bet. So, you know. Yeah, I mean, I've. Probably when he drinks, the he person drinks. I've drank the most with in the last three years. I don't drink a lot, but when I do, it's usually with Jeremy. Playing talking to table about Jeremy Austin's making all sorts of side bets to and by playing clean up his act. Playing a guitar and me holding mine and not really being able to play it. Oh, yeah. He brought a guitar in the airplane. Earlier. He's sick. Jimmy yeah, Bluffett in the chat. Good yeah. to see you, buddy. Oh, wow, cool. 
Yeah, he's a very good player. Of course, Jason Kuhn has to Just ruin all of our lives by saying um, that Jeremy Osmus, who is not only a father and a husband metal, and extremely good looking like and super rich, also a very uh, good guitar player. Kind of so, stuff now. so, of course, he can do yeah. it all. He's like really into Slayer and <laughs> Metallica and stuff at high school. I know, you wouldn't see it. No. He's a sleeper. Look at that hand Brian Rass is holding. Jack four in the mix. Flopping a flush draw is going to make life a lot better for Rast, who just happens to be up against one of the worst hands in poker. Shout out to Dole Brunson. If you're tuning in to our YouTube stream, please let us know where you're watching Kinda from. nice not knowing, knowing what's going on in the world. Love to hear from you guys, who you're yeah, rooting for. Is bliss, man. That's a blessing, bro. Stay off that internet. That's the devil's playground, pal. The Devil's Playground, the internet. Well, Nick, i got news for you. Without the internet, no one will be able to watch this. We need it. Nine on the turn gonna, like, gives Davies a few outs. In like a few days or whatever, next, next week or whatever it is. Pots I think I'm going to try to go till the end of the year and just keep acting like we have the bet. Whatever happens, I hope Rast shows the jack four. Davies doesn't have a whole lot going in this hand. Small pot, probably not worth seeing a river here unless he knows more about Rast's style than we do. These guys, of course, all operating on levels that us humans, us mortals, can only dream of ever being on. Rast picks it up. Bonamo, our chip leader, 2.2 million, 54 big blinds. And then we have Winter and Davies tied with 42 big blinds each. And here's the most incredible stat that you could possibly <coughs> think up at this final table. The entire final table in the top 57 of poker's all-time money list. Bonamo first, Kuhn seventh. The other guys also in the hunt. Maybe one or two high roller wins away from the top. you want to subscribe to PokerGo and get the annual subscription, mm. use promo code MASTERS22 to save $20 on your annual sub. Got to get in there because we have new episodes available of No Gamble, No Future, some high-stakes cash games with Eric Person, and a whole bunch more crazy characters. New season of high-stakes poker coming soon as well, season 10. We just finished taping. A few photos already leaked. I owe a 1,000 from yesterday. Negrano Tilly, JRB. I was supposed to go home and read 20 Alex pages. Alex Keating making his high-stakes poker debut. And I, I like, I sat down on the couch to read, and I was just like, whatever, I'm just going to take my sleep instead. You own the G? Yeah. yeah you know, any even final table stipulations? I mean. No. I just have, I have to work out every day, read 20 pages a day, and no social media. 40,000. Okay. Or else I owe a 1,000. Each, each day. Wow. Fun bet that from Sean Winter with not drink. Jeremy Osmus. Osmus can't drink. $1,000 a day. And Winter has to read 20 pages of a book, do a workout. What's the third thing? thing? I don't know. It's a, it's a good bet for Osmus. Queen does Queen Deuce versus Queen Deuce. Davies with the flush draw. Doesn't come in. This hand will get chopped if it goes to showdown, but maybe one of them will take a stab. Check, chop it up, boys. <laughs> chop them up. <laughs> Reroll. 
What do we got in the house here today in our YouTube chat? Nobody has told me where they're watching from. What is this? Oh, wait. We got Biloxi in the house. J 88 Thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Chester says, just started watching. What a lineup for this FT. Take it down, Mr. Shulman. If Shulman takes it down. He's going to be leader in the standings by quite a margin. Here's a look at Justin Bonomo's career highlights. First cash going back to 2005. Then six, six figures in 2006, seven figures in 2012. And his biggest cash, of course, $10 million, the big one for one drop back in 2018, which was just a month and a half or so after winning Super High Roller Bowl 5, I believe, for $5 million. That, of course, 2018, the year of Bonomo. Everything he touched turned to gold. And he claims number one on the all-time money list. Took it from Bryn Kenny. Those two are in a pretty heated battle. Except for the fact that Bryn Kenny yeah, has not brother. played any events here this week. What do we got here in the chat? Montenegro, wow. Everett, Massachusetts, Centennial Hills, Atlanta, Georgia, Texas, parts unknown. Buffalo, New York, New Jersey, Texas, Sonoma County. Baked Alaska in the house, watching from my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Love to hear about it. You guys look at Shulman, by the way. 14.6 million in career tournament earnings. How much is that? 25k stack? First ballot Hall of Famer um, in my mind. We've got Liverpool, Chicago, Mexico City, Norway, SoCal, Berkeley. It's kind of chilly in here. There we go. You know people. Yeah, I guess, it, uh, I guess it'll get crazy here in a little bit. Jason Kuhn covering up the guns. Queens for winter. Our first real hand of the day. We got the European Georgia in the house. Key, Key Largo, Oregon, Manchester, Russia. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Rast, meanwhile, picking up A6 suited. Quickly tosses it into the muck. Looks like this one will go to winter with ease, except for Bonomo finding one of those beautiful suited aces. Who are you guys rooting for at this final table? Six superstars, different reasons to root for any one of these players. Cover them all for about 15 years. And here comes Bonomo with the three bet. Nothing for Kuhn to play with. Shulman with Ace King. Ladies and gentlemen, fireworks coming up. Oh, this is beautiful for Shulman. 15 bigs finding Ace King in the big blind after a raise and a re raise. Taking a sip, keeping it casual. He left the. All in. Left the hat at home for today, but here he goes. All in. Action on Sean Winter, who is probably very excited to see the action go this way. He gets to isolate, he gets to move all in over the top. Bonomo's range is going to include a lot more than just hands that beat him. Here we go. We all know what Justin has. <laughs> I'm all in. <laughs> <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Bonomo quickly lays it down, does not appreciate the joke, and here we go, all in showdown. A classic flip. The most classic flip of all. Ace King versus Queens. Let me know in the chat. Who are you rooting for? Do you want the Shulman double up or do you want to see Sean Winter rake this one in? Almost 50 50 here. Winter with a slight advantage. We've seen Bonomo fold an ace. That doesn't help <laughs> Shulman's well, case. I'm lose the flip. It better be to you, baby. There you go, Danny. <laughs> ace, 10, 4. Oh, what a daddy flop. It's a fairly clean start. What a beautiful what flop for Nick Shulman. Top pair with the flush draw. Two outs for Winter twice now. Two uh, red queens. Did we just go to the next end or no? <laughs> <laughs> Three of hearts right. on the turn. <laughs> right. How much do you have, though? Bit. Seriously. This guy's a really sick puppy. No, I mean, like, I mean, uh, it is 585. What it is what it is. Oh, yeah. Paint Black. on the river. What are you, what are you squirming paint, for? Dude. What, what you got? 585. You okay, I, how many times are you going to tell me? <laughs> Oh, man. I love watching these guys. 585. Paid off. Okay. Let's move on. Nick Shulman back in the yeah, hunt. What, a, what, a, what did you have? I had ace three suited. I would have put a sick beat on Nick. 
Yeah, and you would oh, have. Wow. That's the carry cat speed. <laughs> yeah, I, I, had a, I had an ace as well. Butterfly <laughs> card too. What do we ace call that? Ace of hearts. Wow. The shimmy. The Nick Schulman shimmy. He doubles up up to third in chips, 36 big blinds. We go straight into the uh, table overview. Jason Kuhn and Sean Winter tied for the most cashes at this table, seven in total. These boys all getting up in age here. Brian Rast, of course, now Poker Hall of Fame eligible. Shulman, Bonomo, and Kuhn coming up in the next few years. And Seth Davies and Sean Winter. It's sad to say, but they're both younger than I am. Feels as though they've accomplished so much more in their life by being at this final today, table. Boys. What have I ever done? <laughs> I felt it. Nines for Rast. Action continues. Lots of Shulman fans in the chat. Love to see it. Burbank says, Shulman is just an OG, but right, Rast, man, man it's a toss-up. Come on now. Most of the people rooting for Shulman and Kuhn, it seems like. Said, don't I my chips. I said, come on now. That's all. Just looking around. Putting in here wow, Wisco Baron says, I'm on team ABB. Man. Anyone but Bonomo. Wow. Well, you got five horses in the race if uh, that's who you're rooting for. Bonomo still our chip leader. Casey Mack rooting for Rast. <coughs> kind of like a Baccarat tape, wasn't it? No Seth Davies fans in the house? Come on. Sean Winter for some comedic relief. Just relax, man. <laughs> it's not coming. I feel like Sean Winter is underrated as far as characters at the poker table. Always got those jokes, especially when him and Sovereign are side by side. It's always a good look. And here's a look at the incredible numbers that Brian Rast has produced. 23.3 million in total earnings. Winner of the inaugural Super High Roller Bowl back in 2015. 500K buy-in, 7.5 million is what he took home. Quiz question for people at home. Who else was at that final table? Who else was at the first ever Super High Roller Bowl final table? Off the top of my head, I can think of, I can think of second place. I think I got third as well. All right, chat, let me know. Who was at the final table of the first ever Super High Roller Bowl? And while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll do some giveaways. How about 150 likes on the video? I'll give away a free month of Poker Go. Davies. Uncontested. Poker Masters champion over here. Seth Davies, one of the younger guys at this table, already has 17.3 million in career earnings. What a what a flip for for everyone. For the purple jacket. You guys are in the hunt. He, 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 whoever did well in this, we would have taken the lead. Wow. He looks better in purple anyways. You really count those chickens, huh? That's that why he was happen. that's why he was coming in here, man. He was he was ready. Coon with the race. Showman finding a real hand, ace queen suited. Give me some more guesses, uh, chat. I've already seen Scott Seaver, that's correct. He finished second to Brian Rast. I feel like he's more about the 50k added than the jacket, though. Here comes Shulman with some firepower. 250 is the re-raise. Rast with a weak ace. Definitely not playable from the small blind. Well, at least we know the queens are dead, but it doesn't matter. Kuhn lays it down. Shulman picks it up and chips up to basically tied for second place after starting the day with just 10 big blinds. Great start for Nick Shulman. There it is. 
Pirate carry says True Teller, indeed. Timofey Kuznetsov, fourth in those in that first ever super high roller. We'll his look at the updated chip counts. Rast now, our short stack with 17 bigs. Kerry Katz and David Einhorn were not at that I final pass. table. I shouldn't have said anything. You would open. Yeah, you totally reminded me when you said that. You can tell these guys have possibly hundreds of hours of play together at these tables. Lots of inside jokes, lots of uh, late night How dinners, and expensive bottles of wine, this. I'm sure. We got 500 on bottom, 70, 8, 890 behind? No, it's 550. Right here. So 940? Doesn't matter how rich you are, counting can still be very hard. Wait, what? <laughs> I thought you were jamming or three bidding. It was fucking. Am I the only one who's noticing that five players are having a great time? I was raising gamble. And Justin Bonomo is extremely quiet and focused. Uh, Come on, Justin, lighten up a little. Final bit. table of the uh, 50. Thing. Let's have some fun. It's Monday. Oh, is it? I was supposed to be golfing Monday. I, I guess I'm not golfing Monday. Yeah, oh, the fifties a three day. No, for, I it's thought you guys already had Sunday off for Kerry to watch football. I thought you guys for already real. have four, anyways. <laughs> that's the reason. That's, I mean, that's not. Are the, all your courses open? That's not the disclosed reason, but I assume they were filming something here. <laughs> Looking back at the 2015 Super Hard Bowl Final Table. I can't Final Table. standing over a shot for Rass was the winner. Seaver was second. Drynan was third. Kuznetsov fourth. David Peters fifth. Then Tom Arcasey in sixth. And Eric Seidel with the min cash for 860K. I had like 5 to 10K on this hole, and I'm standing over my shot. Before I drove my cart, I, I asked the people, because I never played in the course, I was like, am I allowed to drive here? And they're like, just go, just go, just go. So I, I had my cart in the parks, and I'm standing over my shot, about to hit my shot. And these other guys, started, old guys started yelling at me, you can't put the cart there. And I'm like, OK, I'll move it after my shot. And they screamed it again, like, I lost the hole. <laughs> Shulman's king high is good here. Coon's got some outs though. I mean, they were. It was. Yeah. Oh, I mean, technically, they're probably right. But it was nothing out of line. Like I wouldn't have done it if it was out of line. Sean Winter telling. 10K golf bad beat, beat stories. We all have those, of course. Who doesn't have like a $10,000 golf bad here. beat? Oh, that guy was a prick, too. He called the shot. I know. Wow. Just as Nick Schulman is about to unleash on whoever was bothering him at the <laughs> on the golf course, here's a look at the series standings. Sean Winter in eighth place, 207 points. Nick Schulman lurking just outside of the top 10 with 191 points. Alex Livingston in the lead. And rumor has it... He is not playing the 50K. So all he's doing is crossing his fingers, sitting here in the studio, hoping that no one slips by him. But his dream could already be dead later today to as Winter rough. and Shulman yeah, overtake like him. Beers there. Yeah, it does. Wisco Baron asking, Remco, is Sean Perry playing the series? Sean Perry played one event, haven't seen him since, which is funny because he's he is 21st on the PGT standings, and in December, we're going to have a 500k free roll, winner take all, which is going to be streamed on Poker Go, where the top 21 qualify. So Sean Winter better collect some points oh, because maybe really he'll get shut out of that free roll. 
by some of these players gathering points in today's event and in the 50k tomorrow. And then, of course, on Wednesday, the 300k Super High Roller Bowl will kick off here at the studio. We're streaming live for three straight days. Card racking. Mm-hmm. 10-3 off. Yeah. <laughs> we got a couple million dollars on the line there in that event. All right, I got... Um Ooh, listen to the soothing sound as we remind you that you can play free poker right now on pokergohold'em.com. I played all of last night. I won like 80,000 chips. But you can get 100,000 free chips if you use promo code POKERMASTERS to play on pokergohold'em.com. You can also find it in your favorite app store. Apple, Android, both have it available. Go check it out. It's pretty fun. I like to it's fast. It's really, really the, fast. The if you don't pay attention... You're going to time out. You guys play online with big blinds anyways. You stacking it in nice clean 500 at the 40k big blind level? That's, tw <laughs> yeah, that's, that's 25 big. big. <laughs> nice clean 12.5 big. 25, <laughs> 25, 25 bigs here. Actually, full Sakoon, queen 9 off. Good hand to raise with. 80,000. Think you were gonna win this race, Jason? What race? I want. I love how the more you think about what Sean says, the less sense it makes. <laughs> it's not like some clarity comes after a while. I'm not Jake Schindler. What does that mean? That's exactly. <laughs> what <you mean>. <laughs> <laughs> explain, explain what you meant. You know, he might be watching. What would you mean? He's definitely not. Why you don't give a fuck about this shit? These days of commentary are my favorite where I'd rather you not think speak. think about it, you'll figure it out. I don't think I will. <clears throat> not sure about these riddles. <laughs> Sean Winter with the riddles. Nick Schulman with the ace nine offsuit. How much are you playing? A million ten. Thank you. I, I, and Brian? I, I folded the last ten. Uh, I had just over 700k to start the pot. Thanks. So Nick Schulman is asking this question with a real hand, to start the pot? which yeah. I can respect. If you have 7-4 off here on the button, I guess you have no business asking how many chips someone has. So if, you, if you're the kind of person who does it in your local home game, you have a shit hand and you ask how many chips someone has, I don't want you at my table. Meanwhile, here comes Shulman with a big raise, committing himself versus both players in the blinds. It's not, Winter not with a great a start. Quick fold. Eight, Grass is eight of diamonds. <laughs> sweating. Eight. Eight. Yes. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Nick is on. Yeah. Eight. Eight is great. Oh, no. No. That's not going to do it. It's a pretty hand, but. Nine eight suited for Rast. Ten eight of diamonds. Nine eight of heart. What is oh that? Oh God, I would have called him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go, pocket three. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, oh shit, ace nine off. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <oops. laughs> right, do we do that back? Uh, ace nine off is correct. <clears throat> Someone picks it up. Here's a look at the first recorded live caches of our six finalists. Bonomo, Rast, and Shulman, all of the same generation, getting their first live cash back in 2005. But look at the numbers of Nick Shulman. First ever cash in 05, winning a World Poker Tour for $2.1 million. Welcome to the show, Nick Shulman. That is one way to make an entrance. Yeah. My favorite thing is to bust a main event with a high roller, ready to, one day high roller ready to go. <clears throat> Battle of the mediocre aces here between Kuhn and Winter, but he lays it down. Uh, Taylor uh, asking, does anyone know what brand of chips they're using? The brand is called Aria Poker Room, and you cannot buy them anywhere because that would be a big problem. I'll take any place. The blue ones, by the way, are worth 5K. The purple ones are 25K. We got some yellow 100Ks that will come into play later.
I'm glad I have Jimmy, Jimmy Bluffett on my side saying, Remco is my number one pet at, at the table. Someone asking somebody how many chips they have. And then, of course, folding right away. Or doing it with a, with a shitty hand. By the way, if you want to play some of these events, these are all open. So if you have, you know, some kind of money burning a hole in your pocket, these when are all the open. Open huh? events. Yeah. So you're not playing the 50? I doubt it. Yeah. Well, we got some big mix games in town. So I'm, I'm kind of rooting for you then to win this tournament for points. Oh yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> Positive energy always helps. Coming with a raise. King Jack into the muck for Sean Winter. That hand, of course. A ton of trouble if you don't flop right. <coughs> if you're just joining us on YouTube, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Jason Kuhn, just shy of 40 million in career earnings. Jason, you have like 1.2, right? She's a little over. Yeah, 1.28, I believe. Nice. Looks like we got our work cut out for us. Yeah. Yeah. Most We're almost Pretty tight to battle calling here. it off 9 8 suited, suited territory. Wasn't quite there yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, like 17 big blinds. What does Rasta shirt mean? Does anyone know? It says 21 million with some infinity type sign on it. It must be, it must be crypto related or some sort of NFT. Something I don't understand. Action on Seth Davies. 10 9 suited. Race to 100k. <sighs> Come on, Jason Kuhn, go set mining. Set mining used to be a big, a big deal in poker. Don't see it often enough anymore. Does go for it. All right. Seven, eight, deuce, two clubs. That's the flop I want to see. Four, five, eight. Check. Eh, not too far off. Clark Potter says the potential value of an individual Bitcoin. Wow. Guess I missed the boat on that. Check, check. King of diamonds on the turn. Doesn't help anyone, but the range of Davies. He can definitely represent that king much more easily than Kuhn. He's playing uh, Spanish. Are all your courses open now, or just still Sunray? I think they're open. Nikki P. Uh, but I have You guys one. already have four, anyway. Well, I have one, so. You have one? Yeah, I got a dude who I'd really like to bring this guy, James Dorello. All right, there. goes check, check, like again. You know him, James? Deuces were in the lead hey, up until the river, but the nine like changes Scott. it. He's cool. Does he have business? He you know, cable works for the nights. Kuhn checks uh, again. I don't think, uh, maybe I know him, I don't know. Nice guy. Feels like this is going to go check, check. Plays like 100 a hole. Has some beers. Great player. Like for $100. Dollars. Match up fair. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. I want to play Dragon. I heard it's not in, I heard it's not in Still great shape yet. Check, check, indeed. I don't, I don't Davies exactly. will show the nine and <coughs> collect this one. Next, uh, next year, they're, they're closing it for six months. Six, yeah, six months. Really? Yeah. Maybe the... Maybe look at the greens rolling like 11. 130 live caches for Seth Davy. 17.3 million in total That'd earnings. Pretty, uh, cool. Very impressive stats. Although I like chipping there, they, they like really stay true to like. Yeah, the range is great. What's well, a golf talk between Winter and Shulman? You guys play golf in the chat? Any golfers around? I play golf very poorly, but I really love it. There's nothing better than 
A sunny 80 degree day with no wind. Race around in golf carts. Wreck the course by the missing the ball <laughs> quite a few <laughs> times. Do it right now, but the memes I mean, are real. And then the as you get towards the, it is the no, back the nine, heart, right? get the better heart, and better because yeah. those drinks are starting heart. to work. The club was the important blocker, though. Yeah. Right, but the heart yeah. actually was a terrible card. <laughs> now two hearts on the turn. So. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Happens. Though, one of one of the interesting responses to that hand. I, I read on, on Twitter, because I wrote a thread about it, is people who are like, oh, hey, but if Garrett made that play, everybody would say how good it is. Be like, no, <laughs> not, not actually. No, nope, nope, We'd be no, like, wow, maybe Garrett say, doesn't know as much about poker as oh, we thought. Would Garrett, like, would we <laughs> mean if Garrett was like, I can't tell you why, but I know you have the 7-8, you know, I'm in. It would be like, wow. The way you squeeze. Wow, you're cheating. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's how you. Uh, that's how you're winning all. Oh shit. Uh. We got some disc golfers and pickleball players in the chat. I love that as well. Disc golf. Disc golf gets dangerous though. Scared me for a second. <laughs> Especially with the lack of control that I have. Called. I didn't call. You have a uh, nine. You can change a million to certain. Million fifty behind that. Wow, Jimmy Bluff, the real golf hustler, an eight handicap, got it down to five at one point. It's incredible stuff. Winter considering defending his big blind there for the min raise, but opts to let it go, and Kuhn takes this one down. No damn this this time. Waiting for two big hands to clash here. I was beating you in the middle, buddy. Oh, come on. I swear. You think you're supposed to This is the last hand. Yeah. Hand. Not a big hand, man. After this hand, or this, this hand? All right. This hand is the last one. Right, right. That's true. Last hand of the level here before the blinds go up, so I believe 25K, 50K. Yeah, this is it. Lat one, Rast is still up. short, mm -hmm. sitting on 17 this, bigs. Huh? You and your 12.5 big blinds. You know me, baby. Always not short. Much pressure on. Yeah. 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 yeah now it's a clean 10. Yeah. Yeah. You were. Well, your you plan's were really coming together. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. But I don't know. Eight. I think he calls me seven. You stack it in 600 now that the levels. Up? I got 800 here. Oh yeah, that is a nice even number. It's actually very smart what I do. I mean, what does she have? Six is 425. 6.35 behind. Contrary to what Darren is saying in the chat, the studio is open to everyone, and these events are also open to anyone to play in, as long as you got the dollars. I think I'd put that one in and raise the nine. All in? All in. Here we go, oh, really for the memes. That would be the what? ultimate meme. Yeah. Yeah. That one would have been the, you should have just wow. called, called him just off. Wow, called him off, bro. I'll tell you, you, you know what, I've done, limped, I've done, I've done limped, really well in poker. If you yeah, limped, you I was 100%. Yeah. I was 100%. You've got to call it off. You've done really I mean, great in like, 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 poker, man. You've had a charmed career. This is just money. This is just money. You would have been enshrined in history. You would have, man. I mean, this is 432,000. You would have been on the New York Times. You would have won as well, 100% deck read. Like That's you would have won. Deck read. Probably with Jack High. Wow. Yeah, he's just like, oh shit. Uh, just you have queen, seven, queen seven, seven suited. suited. Sean had seven, seven eight of diamonds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see ya. Five four suited. I'm joking. See you later, Rook. <laughs> no, I had a big hand. That's sick. You had the suits. Yeah. That's really sick. Suits too. Especially after we were just talking about it. That's really sick. That's oh, how yeah. it works. Rough. Wow. What a missed opportunity for Brian Rast. This guy's like worth million millions and millions and millions right? of dollars, and he just fails yeah, to become yeah, a meme. Most of it, like the main bar stool, it, it went like really, really nuts. That's funny. What a what a mistake for Brian Rast. Still a million down there, boys. Bonomo back in the mix. Queen eight suited. Comes in for the raise. Did 
300. Three bets and picks it up with tens. Here's a look at Jason Kuhn's past five years. Absolutely stunning numbers. Going back to 2017, 4.2 million, 12.4, 7.8, 2.9, and 5.4 millions, bringing his total to just shy of $40 million in career tournament earnings. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Somewhere on my left. It wasn't me. Maybe it was Rusty then, you know? Mm -hmm. That's right. I don't think it was me. I didn't yawn. Fair enough. And I, did, I didn't eat too much to hiccup. All in. 610. 6'10", all in, pocket threes, Brian Rast putting himself at risk with a small pocket pair. All he has to do is get through the blinds and let's just let's just go, Let's just play six-handed, 5,100. All right. See, see, I'm, I'm, I'm I want to see everyone just take, just punish everyone with like eight bigs. Isn't that like 10% of the stakes we're playing right now? What's the short, what, what's the lowest average? We're just going to turn the stakes way down? Final table you've ever played like in a big spot, do you remember? Yes. Um, I've played at least two of the biggest stakes tournaments I've ever played where the average stack was probably like 14 big ones. Did early, it just come early, down like that or was it, it a was structural? It was like early stage fast uh, Asian tournaments. They were not, it would be like 100k or 200k US. It's just like hyper people in for six. Well, aren't a lot of those GG things like no, because they reset the final tables. They, they? yeah, they reset to average stack of 40 big blinds. The, the for the GG 10K, they do, and not for the other ones. Yeah, 735. When did they do all that? Brian Rast, all the in big, again. The big buy in, in big field stuff, they always do. And I think it's, I, maybe it has to re reach a certain number of player. Yeah, I think every tournament over 100 entries. Reset there you go. to at. Average 40. Average big. stack has to be between 40 and 100 big blinds at the final table. Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah. I had a, a 50k in Florida, and the way it went down was like the 1.3 big blind stack on one table was trying to like do the math to see if you would outlast the like 1.6 big blind stack on the other table. Bu like, bubble or no? Yeah, it was, there were two tables left on the bubble. Yeah. And it just like was insane folding. Yeah. And yeah, it's probably about 14 big blind average stack when we got to the final table. Those yeah, are a little shock silly. blocks there either. Uh, I don't remember if we had shock blocks. They don't have any shock blocks. No, they usually don't do shock blocks oh. there, so it's, it's, those tournaments are a nightmare. Yeah, that's right. That was one of those where we were like begging the floor to go hand for hand because they yeah, didn't understand wouldn't do the it. Yeah, they, they eventually did, but it took like oh, every sorry. single player yelling so at the annoying. floor. I don't think I've played on GG in over a year. I haven't played since February. Really? Mm -hmm. Maybe March. One I don't really have to go say much when these guys are entertaining all of us. Love listening in on those conversations. That's yeah. really cool though, 40 big line average. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do a lot of good things over there. Just as right. Jimmy Bluff had said, 150 likes in the video, and I'll give away a free subscription to PokerGo, a free one-month subscription to PokerGo. If we somehow hit 400 likes, I'll give away four free months of PokerGo. So 100 players, that's the cutoff for it? Yeah. Okay. If I remember right. I think that's sure, right. pretty sure that's what it was. Yeah. If I remember some, like, or is that just, Or is that just the pick your seat? Could be. It might also be. If you want to might follow along with the updates yeah. of today's 50K event, one, one that'll get that. underway 
I believe yeah, when this final, final table, table ends. Yeah, like the 5k knockout and it doesn't get 100 players and they don't do that. So. Yeah. Makes sense. Actually, yeah, I'm wrong. Not a good it starts in 15 minutes. The 50k to close out the series. Thank you. Is it not? That's got to be like an extra edge for the chip leader. Right? Well, I guess it is. But anyway, it always is. I don't understand why they do that, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Uh, it always plays out better for the chip leader since they act last. Oh, yeah. Give me the sixes, yeah. baby, one time. That is weird. No side? Maybe no side. So I think a lot oh, of people no. haven't figured out like, oh, what seed is good to start. Oh, my Yeah. Sean Winter flipping. really wanted to play that. Probably. 7-6 suited. I, th I think a lot of times yeah, the, the, the chip right? leader puts themselves to the direct left of second I place, and I don't think too. that's good at all. Huh? I had ace yeah, I don't, I don't think that's he good. He had ace rag. I had ace rag. You want to be to their direct right? If I had ace super rag. Or just like across the table, so you're mm -hmm. playing the least pots with them. Yeah. I think the right's mm -hmm. definitely better than the left. There it is. We had 150 mm -hmm. likes. Time for that first giveaway on the channel. All I want to know from you guys, and I'll pick a random winner. Who do you think will win this event? Shulman Davies, Bonomo, Kuhn, Winter, Rast. Put your name in the chat of the players up, you Jesus. think is going to win. They said that and in a few minutes, I'll pick a random winner. They said that last uh, final table here. So I'll give you a free uh, month of poker go. See, there you go. There we go. Guys living the good life. We need some vitamin D in here. That's why you golf. You've been... At all? I, no, not at all. Right. Actual coon, ace four suited. Oh, yeah. Beautiful this hand. Is 760 in my stack. Mm. I got Lots of Shulmans coming into the chat. Shulman, Kuhn, Winter. We're getting almost all the names. Still no love for Seth Davies. As Shulman, by the way, picks up Ace King offsuit right after Kuhn braised with Ace Four suited. Cutoff versus Button. Let's see if the blinds pick up anything. They don't. Those two go into the muck. Action back on Kuhn. I'm surprised no one's busted yet. We really don't really. Kuhn really started don't the hand with 27 big blinds. Mm -hmm. Shulman, our current chip the, leader, by the way, the almost forgot to mention that. 36 oh, yeah, bigs. Interesting spot here for Kuhn. Ace, of course, making it less likely his opponent has an ace. In this case, Shulman does have an ace. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. The fact that his hand is suited is going to make him far more eager to play. Time bank chip being used. All options are open here. Stacks are just about deep enough to go see a flop if he wants to. All in. There we go. Shulman makes the call. Huge all in here. Ace four versus ace king. Still 30% equity for Jason Kuhn, despite being dominated. But Nick Shulman here in an incredible spot to take a massive chip lead at this final table. Has Kuhn covered by 450k. Even if he loses, he'll still be wow. in the tournament. That's a big sweat for me. What a massive sweat. Four. Oh, my God. Four, nine, six. Kuhn takes the lead. Shulman looking for one of the three remaining kings. Both players remain stoic. But this has got to hurt. Turn card. Deuce of diamonds. Oh, wow. 12 outs now for Shulman. Diamonds will also do it and send Kuhn to the rail. Let's see that river card. Can Jason Kuhn survive? River card is an 8. One, three, five. He does. 135 is the all in. And Jason Kuhn is now One, three, fifty. our yeah, tournament chip leader. What a brutal turn of events for Nick Shulman, who was a good clean run out of way from being an overwhelming chip leader and putting himself in pole position for the purple jacket lead. But all of a sudden he's the short stack again. Back down to nine big blinds right around where he started about 50 minutes ago. Wow. Kuhn now with a big chip lead. Here's a look at the 2022 all-time money list. Espen Jorstadt, WSB main event, the main event winner of course, leading Sam Grafton in second place, 7.7 .7 million. 
Makita Badziakuski, Alex Fox, and Steven Shidwick, Adrian Adbro, some guy named Phil Ivey. There's Jason Kuhn and Alexis Ponakovs in 10th place. That's a stacked lineup right there. All right, time to do the random draw. Pick a winner for that yeah. free sub. You win that pot, and you're in, like, fucking amazing There's a big sweat for Sean there, though. The winner is William Manning, who says, Nick Shulman is nice my pick to Sean. win. Well, William, like <laughs> it's an uphill battle. This is a big sweat for me. He's a big sweat for me. <laughs> and then the four came, <laughs> and he said, and he said, all right. <laughs> this guy's a psychopath. <laughs> a taxi driver over here. What's going on, dude? I did, I did. I'm right here. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. It's okay. I'm talking about the page. I'm nothing about the points. Yeah, you're talking about. Did the you know page. it's on you? I do know you, it's on you me. Re you really think I don't want you to win there? <laughs> what do you mean? I obviously wow. want the page. Wow. Look how casual Shulman on, is just acting as if there's nothing okay. going on here. Just has pocket aces. Casual little small raise off the, the nine points. big blind stack, hoping for some action. The points. Weren't, I, you, I weren't you saying promise that? Promise you, I wanted you to win. For that little dusty page jump there. I, 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 Look I, at Shulman I, trying to hide his strength. You could still mm -hmm. win this tournament, and I st still can win the purple jacket. I it's okay, though, honestly. I mean that, but genuinely. <laughs> My bad. I, I wasn't meaning it like that. Is Seth Davies going to fall for it? You know, I love you, but it's it, okay. That, that added a sweat. Huh? Makes the call. All right, Shulman has a customer. <clears throat> Only has a few big blinds left behind here. He hopes that Davies is going to connect. Six, three, eight, all diamonds. Davies does connect. Nine high flush draw. 60, 40 on the flop here. It's likely that this is going to go in here. Shulman bets exactly one big blind. I mean, at this point, you have to root for Nick Shulman. He's just trying to make it seem as though he's got nothing going on. Of course, he's got the aces. Davies looking for a diamond. Seven on the turn gives Davies an open-ended straight draw. Ladies and gentlemen, we are still 66-34 as far as equities go. And Shulman only has 300k behind. What a hand. I can only see Shulman shoving here, but who am I? Taylor says, I wish all final tables had this table talk. I agree. This has been phenomenal. These guys are all friends, friendly. They might all be in the same group chat. Who knows? <laughs> Shulman burning a time extension just because. I mean... If this goes to an all-in showdown, Shulman is going to be disgusted by the amount of outs that said Davies has. Shit! All-in is the move from Shulman, as expected. I don't think Davies can call this. Can he? I'm just going to give Shulman a second. Do you guys call this at home? At least you know Seth's not one of these people who's fucking cold enough to just like say that and then call you with a flush. <laughs> he didn't say uh, before folding. He might have yeah. meant before calling with the nuts. You know, uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does lay it down. Yeah. Show the aces, Nick. Do it for the drama. He doesn't. As Nicky P said yesterday, I'm dead inside anyway, so. It doesn't hey, you matter. are Nicky P. Poker. That's what he said about himself. But I don't just poker wise. Just po just poker wise. You know, not, not in general. He's not dead inside. He's sick all life. He's fucking hilarious. <laughs> he is. I used to say I was dead inside, and then I realized I definitely was not dead inside. Just about poker, it's kind of yeah. a nice sentiment in a way. You know yeah, I mean? I'm a definitely at more at peace, I guess. More it's at a peace. Nice sentiment. I'm dead inside. I'm yeah. Not <laughs> yeah. I gotta fix and my I'm life definitely more at peace. Fix my mic. Good fold there, pal. <laughs> Being more at peace in poker you jam turny makes you like way more of a savage. Too. Like Adama's perfect example of that. He's 
so at peace with everything, but yet he's a total savage, you know? That's fair. He's never lost. What's there to not be at peace Yeah, with? that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. He's never not got first place, but... Seth Davies finds Ace Jack in the small blind. Massive pocket pair for Bonomo in the big. I've seen Deuces him lose a lot of money. In the mix. By yeah, the way, William Manning, cool you're the winner of a free month of Poker Go. All you have to do is send me an email. A lot of money. Remco at PokerGo.com. Send me a screenshot if you logged into your YouTube account. It'd just be super cool. And we'll get you sorted with the sign-up code. Two pair here for Bonomo. Oh, sorry, for Davies. Bonomo in trouble. Like, I, I lose a little bit amount of money playing like the lowest I ever play. I'm so steamy. And then I lose a big number and it doesn't bother me at all. I think that's wrong. Brian, what are you playing over there? You can check a big bet there. 7.35. Thank you. What about, what about you? To those wondering, uh, this is a one-hour free six, preview six, of six, the six, action. Seven, if you want to continue watching when the hour wraps up, please head on over to PokerGo.com, sign up, get the monthly, the quarterly, or the annual subscription. 50. If you get the annual sub, use promo code MASTERS22 to save $20 on the annual sub. Annual sub is worth it, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to say that. I know, I know I'm a company man. I know I get a paycheck. But still, if you're a poker fan, it is definitely worth it. I've been lately been re-watching the 2007 World Series Poker main event, which, of course, is all available on Poker Go. It is unbelievable how Jerry Yang is never involved in any situation until probably day six or day seven. It is all about Scotty Wynn and Philip Helm, and it's just a really weird and bizarre main event, 07 main event. I highly recommend going Why back in the archives. During these that, that felt good. Christoph. Action on Rast here. Christoph's always got dress shoes on, just sprinting down a hallway. It's amazing. On breaks. He's gliding. He doesn't really bend his knees. Yeah, you're right. He doesn't. Bad. Worse. You live. Rast all in for 735. Gets a bunch of folds, and the action continues. We haven't lost a single player in the first hour. Three minutes left here on the free bro broadcast. i got to be careful. Who I There's some scary-sounding music. As we look at the World Series Poker bracelet uh, bracelets at this final table, a whole long list with two people missing. Seth Davies and Sean Winter not on this list. Jason Kuhn, of course, winning the 25K heads up. Emotional moment for Kuhn winning that bracelet. Showman, three 10K championship bracelets. Phenomenal display by him. Yeah. I was like, ooh, queen, ooh, paint. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Scott told me about how fun that was. That yeah. one was later. Yeah. Oh, what? He was like, what what it was the hand or me sweating? No, not you sweating. Oh, okay. No, not <laughs> <Yeah>. him. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, that fucking sweat. Yeah, I, Scott doesn't. I doubt no, sweating bothers him about the sweat. Yeah. Coming up on. You're going to love it. The I'm final sorry. hand of the broadcast. Sorry. Maybe this one, maybe the next. Yeah, it depends on how, how fast this one goes. Quick walk for Shulman, so we'll do one more. Oh, shit, I said I was going to make like, a move with the dirty diaper today, and there was my opportunity, and I didn't do it. I folded the I, diaper and I feel like there's been a few. I felt a little bad, but, you know, it's... <laughs> the what's diaper. That? You know, like, basically... <laughs> Chip stacks had just changed for the first Why time. Is the diaper Maybe so in this whole tournament, the dirty you're diaper. just like, oh, okay, I'm open jamming the button. I feel like there's been a couple too many times where that exact thing happened, and like on the very first hand I did it, someone just like wakes up with a hand. I'm like, oh, great. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ryan, you're about to get oh, incinerated. Great. Every time, pal. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I find it really funny that even Shark, these top level players are talking about the dirty there, diaper, so you know. the Jack 4 offsuit. Well, you don't see that too often keep there. Shout out to Nicholas Rigby for introducing Please us to the diaper. Check how many. All right, nice. Mr. That's Winter, uh, what's that? It's what's like that a chipmunk. Collection of chips you got there. It's like chipmunk well, hiding. Five on the bottom. <laughs> Six, seven. Here we go. Seven, 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 five, five, seven, nine. Just keep that and one. And you have about the same. Yeah. Boss, low honor, yeah. <laughs> Plus I'm still cool. in. Going up uh, against two short stacks in the blinds. I have 675 back. All right. I raise um, one million. <laughs> One million dollars, yeah, Jason Kuhn. Up, yeah, this is the exact spot I was talking about the first time. Um. 
And Shulman finds a real hand. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. we got a showdown. I'm, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut this hand. Yeah. Sean Winter, King Jack also, okay, he's definitely not playing that because Come of the implications now. here, but Wrong. takes away a few outs Whoa. for Jason Kuhn. Wrong. I got his favorite hand. What is that? Oh, man, I hate to see it. I got my favorite hand. <laughs> oh, God. Wow, what a showdown. Two of Kuhn's outs oh, so are gone. The initials right. Shulman know. ahead with ace-10, but right. was not too lucky versus... Coon earlier with ace four versus ace king. About? Like you showed the king jack and you know I'm gonna lose. You got the deck greed, I'm gonna lose. Is that what it is? <laughs> Dude, he just hit himself in the savage. He just took yeah, his he oblique himself. out. Yeah, he, he just hurt walked himself. right in. He really line. thinks you're done. I mean, I'm, I don't, he does. by the way. I don't. You guys can. I was gonna give so you like far, an list. So far, this of final lord, the lord works list. in mysterious ways. Yeah. This final table so far has been the Shulman roller coaster ride. I don't think it ends. This is the Shulman RC. You might be right. Here it is. Ace on the flop. Shulman lives. Oh, running cards cool. needed oh. for Kuhn, running spades, running chop, you, you were worried I would get running king this jack. This is still sweat for me. <laughs> no, no, okay, 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 okay. Okay. I shouldn't have done that. that. I shouldn't have done that. No, you're okay. No, clean him spades. You got it, Nick. Okay. Relax. You're good. Turn card. See? Nope. Three. And there it is. Nick Shulman gets the double up. And the action continues six-handed here. We did not lose a single player, right meaning that if you head on over to pokego.com right now and sign up using promo code MASTERS22, you can watch the remainder of this final table and listen to more of what these geniuses have to say. It's honestly been a fantastic final table. Sean Winter with the fist bump. Nick Schulman, of course, <laughs> as always, making faces. You guys, thanks all so much for joining me. My name is Rem Karinkama. Follow me on Twitter. Tomorrow, day off, Monday, 50K final table. Remco and Donnie on the call, on the free preview if you want to come hang out with us. We're going to do some more giveaways, perhaps a few additional ones because it's going to be the final event of the series. For now, though, thanks for watching and check the rest on PokerGo.com.